Over the last 30 years, the San Diego Food Wildlife Alliance has partnered with our collaborators in China to help save the giant panda. And this has been an incredibly fruitful partnership. And this included things like uh, developing a milk formula, which uh, increased the survival of cubs that would be raised in the nursery. We developed ultrasound techniques to help monitor and manage uh, pregnancy. We contributed, uh, along with our partners, to field work, which enabled us to better understand panda habitat needs. And through all of this, we developed a very strong friendship and uh, collaborations, again, that lasted decades. My first trip uh, to China was in 2001, and that was soon after Mei Shang and Chen Chen came to the National Zoo. We flew from Washington, D.C. to Beijing, and we flew from Beijing uh, to Qingdu, and we drove all those machines out to, to Wolong Nature Reserve. We started with 12 because we thought, well, we can have, we can, we can, carry that many computers. So we got there and we found there were 50 people that were there ready to be trained because they were so excited about the opportunity, so passionate about learning about GIS and about management of their protected areas. We began doing the training every year. We would go to sometimes to Wolong, sometimes to other nature reserves. Through the years, over 600 people have been trained in this um, technology. Going back uh, in the, in, let's say in the 1980s, there were only 12 um, protected areas, but the government was rapidly adding new, new spaces to, to be protected for giant pandas. Everyone is very inspired, very passionate about giant pandas. So that gives us a common bond uh, and also a love of learning, a love of research, uh, knowledge. Um, we see that in, in China and we see that here, we see that around the world. I think uh, there's there's just such potential. We've done we've already done so much, but there's still so much more potential. Before. 华盛顿国家动物园的三只大熊猫人民的友谊使者，我们愿意继续同美国开展大熊猫保护合作，努力满足加州人民的愿望，增进两国人民的友好感情。